Hello everyone, this is Brian Kibler uh, with StarCityGames.com and I'm here once again uh, with a modern video with the Dragons of Tarkir expansion coming out pretty soon. I wanted to delve into you know, a format uh, that is less likely to be significantly impacted by the new set. You know, Obviously there may be some cards in uh, Dragons of Tarkir that do have an impact uh, on the standard format, or rather on the modern format, but it won't be nearly so impacted as standard will be. Um, and obviously with the Pro Tour on the horizon and the inability to actually play uh, standard on uh, Magic Online, it doesn't really make a ton of sense for you to be making standard videos. So here I am, playing some modern. Um, this is very similar to the deck that I played in my last modern video, uh, obviously a Naya Zoo uh, style of deck. The big difference here uh, is that I've gone away from the, the Planeswalker that I had in my main deck. Uh, previously I had a couple copies of Domri as well as one copy of Chandra. Uh, and I've moved toward uh, playing the third Hellkite in my main deck, as well as a couple of copies of Lightning Helix. Uh, the thought basically being that I think that the, while the Planeswalkers can be powerful in some mid-range style of matchups, um, the fact that most of those mid-range matchups are uh, against decks with Lingering Souls makes them less impactful than they otherwise might be. And it's difficult to get value out of a Domri when your opponent uh, you know, is playing Lingering Souls and able to attack your Domri uh, each turn. You do have Thunder by Hellkite to potentially break that up, but not really, you know, the sort of consistency uh, and speed that I think is important for a format like Modern. Uh, Lightning Helix is a card that uh, is actually pretty good against some of the, you know, unfair decks. Both uh, Infect and Affinity are decks that Lightning Helix is actually a totally reasonable card against, as well as Burn. Uh, I did beat a Burn opponent in my last video, but part of that came down to some pretty good draws on my part, as well as him timing out in game three. Uh, who knows if I would have won that game if he had enough time. So we, uh, we have, the goal here is to try and get a little bit more, a uh, little bit more percentage against those decks. Uh, you know, we may be giving up a little bit against the sort of mid-range style of decks by having a couple of helixes in the place of uh, of the planeswalkers. But we do have the third Thunder my Hellkite that replaced the third planeswalker in order to hopefully get some of that percentage that we're giving up back. Uh, sideboard wise, the uh, the Chandra moved to the sideboard. We actually have a, uh, another Lightning Helix in the sideboard. Again, sort of just a, a mix of what I think are some of the more powerful hate-style cards. Um, Feed the Clan is, I think, the best option that you have against Burn in particular. Uh, burn decks, if they, if they do get uh, access to a Tarka's Command uh, in the new set, I think that that actually makes uh, Leyline a little bit worse. Um, you know, they have, if, if they're playing four copies of a Tarka's Command, that's actually you know a significant amount of damage that bypasses Leyline. Uh, so I think the value of that goes down a little bit. Um, and I also just like the fact that uh, you know this is a sort of cheap card that can come in against non just purely burn focused decks, things like Geist of Saint Traff decks, uh, as well as you know just sort of aggressive zoo style of decks. I think Feed the Clan can be pretty powerful in those situations. So uh, again, again, the, the, again, the sort of uh, number one hate card, <laughs> Blood Moon, sort of generically valuable against so many different decks, and goes particularly well with. Sort of the, the plan of having uh, big red flyers like Thunder My Hellkite and then Stormbreath Dragon. Uh, Stormbreath Dragon, I'm uh, you know not a hundred percent sold on whether it should be in the uh, Vat or or Hellkite in the deck. Uh, the fact that Stormbreath Dragon is immune to Path to Exile is very nice, but Thunder My Hellkite actually killing Lingering Souls tokens as well as uh, getting them out of the way for your other creatures to attack through is a pretty big deal. So. Uh, so we're going to be playing a bit around with today and seeing how it, how it uh, how it flows. So let's get into it. 